There it is. The Silverton community. It's pretty similar to how I remember it. Aside from the wall, of course. <sighs> Everything's so green. I forgot how pretty it is here. I know we've been on this side of the mountains for a while, but it's easy to miss the scenery when you're avoiding undead, or getting captured, or rescuing someone who was captured. <laughs> now we have a second to take it in, and it's nice. Nervous? <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. I don't quite know what to expect, but I'm sure it'll be alright. While this journey with you has been an adventure to remember, I'm ready to have some relative safety for both of us. But one step at a time. First, we have to convince them to let us in. I don't know how easy it'll be. Well, in any case, they see us. Let's see this through. Yeah, they do look like they're on the defensive. Maybe slow down a little. Oh geez, they're pointing weapons at us. Uh, put both your hands on top of the wheel, I'm gonna raise mine. Just come to a stop and move slowly to put it in park, I guess. Step out of the truck now. Hands over your head. It'll be fine. Let's just do as she says. Keep your hands up. We're not here to cause any trouble. <laughs> yeah. Like I'd believe that from one of Matthew's goons. Who's Matthew? Don't play stupid. We kicked him out for a reason. And now you come back down here with his truck? Last time he sent someone, two of our people were murdered. We're not letting that happen again. Wait. Matthew. Guy about 6'2", blonde, mean as hell. Has a thing for leather and an expression like he's constantly smelling shit. I was getting to that. But yeah, what they said. Likes to abduct people and try to sell them for science. Twisted son of a bitch if I ever met one. Hmm. Why do you have his truck? He took me from my partner by force. He deluded himself into thinking that the flu I was sick with was actually me turning into a zombie. He was going to sell me. He kept me locked up in a shed for a few days, and when it became obvious that I wasn't sick anymore and I was no longer profitable, he... He tried to inject me with zombie blood. Shit. And you escaped, obviously. Yeah. This one here saved my life. They arrived just in time and knocked him out before he could hurt me. They set the main supply cabin on fire and we used the distraction to make a break for it. We took this truck to put some distance between us and that asshole. And what did you do with Matthew? We left him tied up in the same shed where he kept me. <laughs> you should have ended his miserable existence when you had the chance. Perhaps, but I'm not him. We are nothing like him. And that means we don't kill people in cold blood even if they deserve it. <sighs> Stand down, everyone. I'm Cassie. I'm a member of the community council. So, why are y'all here exactly? We were hoping to ask for a place in the community. We thought we'd offer you this truck and the supplies in the back. The thought is appreciated, but we don't take bribes. What I mean is that if you give up the truck and the supplies, you give it freely with no strings attached. An offer like that ain't going to secure you a place here. So, if that's the exchange you were hoping to make, forget about it. Look, we're working on expanding the community, but we can't just take on everyone. While we do welcome all travelers on a temporary basis, not everyone can stay permanently. All able-bodied people must work and contribute, or else this safe haven of ours just won't last. I know that sounds harsh. If you think you're worthy of a spot here, then 
Convince me. Why should we give it to you? What skills do you have? I was studying sustainable energy in college. I was a semester shy of getting my degree when everything went to hell, but I was doing an internship. I had the chance to learn a lot of practical applications for what I was studying, and I have a lot of ideas that I was originally going to use for a thesis, but I think would help you here. Plus, I can cook really well, and I know first aid. I'm also a pretty good shot. Okay, yeah, I can sing, too, but I don't think that's what they're looking for in a resident. <laughs> You'd be surprised at how far a little singing can go to lift people's spirits. And what about you? What can you offer? Well, I won't lie to y'all. Both of you have skills that we need. If you're telling the truth, You'd bring a lot to our community. But what's to stop you from leaving if you hear that some other place is safer or more appealing? It's not just safety we're seeking. We've heard about the work this community is doing to find a cure. We want to contribute however we can. It's not all about the security for us. It's about having a purpose outside of just surviving. For a long time... The only thing either of us have had to live for was ourselves. And now we have each other, but hope for humanity. That's something worth living for. And that's something worth dying for. We want to help. Let us prove it to you. One last question. Do you have a tent? Yeah. All right. One month. <laughs> The two of y'all will get a space to put your tent up out in the temporary accommodation area. You'll be on the farming crew and take a turn in the weekly rotations. That includes kitchen duty and cleanup crew. You do well there, fall in line and prove yourselves. Then we'll see about moving y'all into permanent housing and permanent jobs. Thank you so much. I could hug you. <laughs> Please, don't. Right. Get your things and follow me. Welcome to your new home. I'm exhausted. It's like, now that I don't have to be constantly looking over my shoulder, my whole being is demanding that I sleep. You too? Hmm. Did you get enough to eat? Yeah, I did. They really came through. There were so many fresh vegetables on the plate, I wasn't sure where to start. Tomatoes, cucumbers. Mm. I'm honestly so excited to help with the farming crew tomorrow. I'll gladly pull weeds or work in the greenhouse or do whatever. It seems like peaceful work next to what we've been doing. And Cassie told me she's going to have me help with some of the livestock, including the chickens. You know what that means? Eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently they do scrambled eggs on Sundays and my mouth is watering already. I didn't realize before she told me that, but I really missed having a big traditional breakfast. <sighs> it's gonna be weird, helping in the kitchen, cooking normal meals, eating them around a table with other people, having a sense of normalcy back. Don't worry. We will convince them that we're worthy of a place here. And just between us, even though Cassie did her spiel about them not taking bribes, I think the truck and the fact that we outsmarted Matthew will go a long way for us. We just have to follow through, and I'm sure we'll be all right. For now, though, what do you say we rest and enjoy being camped in a truly safe location? We can both sleep all night without having to wake up for every little noise. Yeah, we can cuddle. I'd really love that. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that would be the smell of real shampoo. Getting to take a hot shower was the most luxurious thing I've experienced in ages. 
I never thought I'd get nostalgia from having a hot shower. You, uh, smell nice too. <laughs> hey, they bandaged up the cut on your arm. That's good. I don't think it's too much. It's been a while since you had a medical professional look you over. If they saw fit to use supplies on you, then they were probably worried about it getting infected. Did they say it would be fine now that they've treated it? <sighs> well, that's a relief. Uh, well, that's probably my fault. I mentioned it to the doctor when I had my checkup. I said I was worried that it wasn't healing yet and that I'd feel better if they looked it over, even if it was about a week old. You would have done the same for me. And if you think I've survived actual apocalypse hell with you just to lose you to an infected cut, you've got another thing coming. Deal with the bandages and deal with my fussing, okay? <laughs> if the worst thing you've dealt with in the last several hours is getting medical attention because I was worried, then I'd say you've had a pretty good day. <laughs> Would you shut up and kiss me already? Yeah, I know I should sleep. But I'm just enjoying this feeling. Enough to eat, completely clean, and totally safe. Safe in these walls, safe in this tent, safe in your arms. Mm, okay, I'll close my eyes. We made it. <laughs> we made it together. <laughs> <laughs>